This one here is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the graphite color, and it is the 256 model. The box is definitely smaller than previous models. It comes with less accessories. So we'll get into all that. So let's go ahead and we'll get this out of the box. So here is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the Graphite 256 model, and it's supposed to have surgical grade stainless steel with flat sides around it, and they are very, very shiny. So let's go ahead before I peel anything off of the phone, let's just take out the rest of the stuff here that's in the box. Looks like you get your little SIM tool, and oh, there's a sticker. I thought it usually comes with a couple stickers, but you get one sticker, some more iPhone paperwork there. And of course, you get your lightning cable with the USB type C connector which supports fast charging and this one's compatible with all pretty much USB C power adapters and uh, computer ports and stuff. Apple's now saying in support of efforts to reach environmental goals the iPhone 12 Pro Max and other iPhone models here are not going to include power adapters or ear pods anymore. That is all that comes in the box. So I did have the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here ready to go just to kind of take a look at the two side by side but let's go ahead and peel that off this thing looks it's just amazing and this here is supposed actually it's supposed to be i think it's ip68 water resistant there's a look at the lidar that's on the back and that's supposed to make your night mode much better experience as far as night mode goes and um, a lot faster autofocus in low light i don't think i mentioned it when i first unboxed this when i took it out but i paid about twelve hundred dollars for this i am going to trade this phone here in so I should get back about $500 if this one is in good shape and you know if you guys are looking for the best experience as far as like all the features of the camera you want to go with the Pro Max version and if you're into like taking pictures or photography and stuff like that it's going to work well for you so 6.7 Super Retina XDR display on this one you're getting 5G with this phone which is super fast which we're getting into now and that's going to become more of a thing you're also getting the A4 14 very very fast smartphone chip and this awesome ceramic shield which is supposed to deliver four times better draw performance and less bezel more screen Here's a look at the iPhone 11 Pro Max next to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can see a noticeable difference. And if we just kind of take a look at these around the sides and stuff, you can see what has changed. Definitely a difference in the camera. You can see on the iPhone 12 Pro Max over here that the cameras definitely stick out further than the 11 Pro Max. A big difference there. As far as on the bottom, that is what that looks like. Don't think there's a lot that's changed. Just that flat bezel makes it look a lot different. It feels maybe a little heavier as well. So I want to take the MagSafe charger and I'm going to put that on here and see what happens. It actually grabbed onto there right away. You can see I'm like hanging the phone from it and I would say even without the case on that has a lot of force. I don't know if that's eventually going to leave a ring around it. There's the first look at my phone powered on. So I'm going to put the case on it real quick. This is the black MagSafe safe case. So let's go ahead and we'll pop it into here. Let's close out of it so it's a dark screen and then we'll try to slap it on there. All right, comes right up and recognizes the charge right away. There you can see that it's on the case. It's again, it's got a lot of force. So if you're looking for something like this, um, you're not going to be able to just walk over and take your phone off of it. You're going to have to somehow mount this to your desk with some sort of Velcro sticky strip or something like that. Or you're going to need to use both hands to actually pull it away from the case. I like to kind of use a charger where I just set it down and I'm good to go. I could just come over and pick my phone up and go. Apple does encourage you to reuse your current USB-A to lightning cables um, power adapters, headphones, and all that stuff are compatible with these iPhone models. Anything like that that you have, you can use with this. If you have the old 18 watt charger, 
You can use it with this phone and it's perfectly compatible. I bought the new 20 watt adapter. Most of the stuff now, thankfully, comes with the type C connector. So I did order a screen protector that's going to be coming in the mail. However, right now this has no screen protector on and you can see how quick and snappy and responsive it is, which I'm liking already. I have many more videos coming, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the Graphite, the 256 gig model, if you can afford to do so, upgrade to an iPhone 12 model. Maybe not this particular one. Again, with the Pro, you're get, or Pro Max, you're getting all of the Max features with the camera and all that good stuff. Check them out on Apple's website. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and a look at the new phone I'm gonna be using as my main phone. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next video.